There are two genres of fanfiction. One, put that guy into situations. And two, take that guy out of situations for the love of God, let them rest. These are writing memes from Tumblr. Writing tip number 254. Call your characters whatever you want because nobody can stop you. Take my character, Microwave. Microwave. His name is Microwave. And believe it or not, this is entirely legal. People are like, don't you need AI to help figure out your story? But writers know that we don't need a new technology to help us. We already have the shower. Broke. Killing a character because you hope it'll hurt the reader. Woke. Killing a character because it aligns with some aspect of your story, and another character's motivations, the world's nature, etc, etc. Bespoke. Killing a character because if you do not, they may continue to wrest the story from your hands, and you can't suffer that fate again. When your OC already has a horrible backstory, but you come up with something that makes it more devastating. Make it worse! Writing your work in progress? Ugh. Playing them in your head as if they are episodes of a multi-season series. Hmm. Let's write. Okay, uh, write what? A work in progress? Or do you have an idea for a new story? What's the plot? Let's write. Yes, you said that already. What do you want to write? Let's write. Just end the sentence with a period. But they're pretty. Commas are like garlic. You measure with your heart. Editing the great comma harvest. Writers writing the thing they really just wanted to read because no one else wrote it first. Always the writer, never the reader. Have you ever read a fanfic so good that you wanted to write a fanfic about that fanfic? but was too shy or too intimidated to ask for the author's permission and too afraid that your writing wouldn't be half as good as theirs and that it would be an insult to their work that was basically a literal masterpiece. So you just sat there fantasizing about their work and how beautiful it was and how you wished you could just eat it and how you wished Canon could write your blurbos half as good as this writer did and how you just wanted to cry because you just loved that fic so much. This user thinks they've been making writing progress, when in reality they've just been going back and re-editing things they've already written over and over as an avoidant technique. You. Yes, me playing Hunger Games Simulator using my OCs at 1am is part of my writing process. YA novel covers. Look at this knife. Storm, fire, ice, darkness, cold, blah blah blah. She falls in love with a man who treats her like shit. The king is dead or comatose or something. I'm not actually sure. I think one of the reasons I enjoy writing so much is because my anxiety has me making up conversations in my head about 90% of the time anyway. When I write them down, I can at least feel productive. Me writing in school. Okay, I need to use at least one of every type of punctuation mark. A semicolon can really make me stand out. I also need to make sure that each paragraph has at least six sentences or else my work won't be seen as serious enough. The grammar doesn't need to be perfect, but I need to at least try. Me writing as an adult. Yeah, I can fit shit shit fuck cock sucking asshole fucking shit fuck into a paragraph. I do what I want. Deepest apologies to the well-thought-out characters that I created, but never wrote the stories for. Writing update. I will print out all of my unfinished works in progress and hit someone over the head with them, killing them instantly and bringing world peace. Things I want to write. Things I actually write. And the very small intersection of miracles. In the Google Docs, straight up writing it. And by it, <laughs> well, let's just say... Nothing. Do you ever not write for so long that you're almost afraid to? Like, what if I'm dumb now? What if I've forgotten how? Better procrastinate and make it worse. If you do not write your book, the result is simple. You are cursed to see fragments of it everywhere, 
piecemeal for the rest of your life. When you finally get to the scene you've been waiting to write, Pretty oh, like little. Yes. 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 Lying on my bed, giggling and kicking my feet, while putting the characters I like through unimaginable torment. It should be noted that I am also writing with one of those big fluffy pens. Writing is fun because I can live out my wildest fantasies through my characters. Like having loving parental figures and having friends. You know you're an author when you consistently research naming traditions in different countries. My search history is literally just the exact same five things. Dropping my cursor in the middle of a sentence to add the word I missed? No. Backspacing the entire sentence to add the word I missed? Yeah. Me when I hit that creative high at 1am in the morning and come up with the greatest story ever conceived? Man. And then, by the time I wake up, I've forgotten all of it. Reading other people talk about their writing and OCs. Thank you, my liege. Inhales content like I'm actively starving. Talking about my writing and my OCs at all. Uh, I'm so cringe, I'm so cringe, I'm so cringe, I'm so- Me writing major plot points. Me choosing minor story details that are inconsequential like the color of a shirt. Me writing. Oh, this is the perfect word to use in this one specific scenario. I am so pleased. Stupid little bird brain. Word again? Use word again? Use word again? Use word again? Word? Perfect word? Use again? Writing and grinding my teeth. I give myself permission to write like shit. I give myself permission to write like shit. I give myself permission to write like shit. I give my- Me writing something at 1am. OMG, I'm literally a genius. These words sound amazing. I ate totally with this one. OMFG. The writing. His feet steps. Yes, I claim to be an avid writer and reader. A word lover. A word consumer. A spelling lover. A grammar witch. And yet you're still gonna have to explain the difference between effect and effect to me. Please. In simple words. There are two writers inside of you. It's okay to write few words, or not even write every day. If I don't write over 900 words a day, I will kill myself. When you write the villain a little too well... <coughs> I'm sure this is not indicative of anything. Not wanting to make a hard magic system because it's too much work. Deciding to use, there's different types of magic as a way to get away with more things. Assign these types of magic rules and limitations, as well as a range of consequence, because it makes sense to me. I made a hard magic system. My kind, innocent, logic-brained engineer boyfriend. How's your writing for your book coming along today? Me, cursing at the imaginary people in my head who are currently wrestling in a coat closet instead of solving the mystery. Meanwhile, my laptop is at 10% battery, with 10 tabs open about the structural integrity of a parking garage in Boston, what it feels like to be elbowed in the nuts, Reagan's economic theories, and a Reddit post about why the teacup grip is bad when firing a gun. I haven't seen the sun in three days, and if I stop listening to one of my painstakingly curated playlists, I might die. I've written a handbook for a cultish organized crime company, and often have to refer to it like a real handbook, because I forgot what I've written. The coat closet scene is now 3,000 words, and these goddamn characters just need to trust each other for Christ's sake. It's going great. Thanks for asking, honey. Me having a hard time choosing between two work-in-progress ideas is less than... Me merging them into one very confusing plot that makes no sense. I just drank two cans of Coca-Cola and wrote almost 10,000 words in one day. I'm a minor god. I'm a tattered woman in a cave. I'm a bodiless thing. A slowly lumbering deity. I have to go night-night now. When someone calls your fic their fave of a certain pairing. Please, you can't just tell me that. I'll flood the earth with my tears. I thought the ending of your book perfectly encapsulated the themes and gave a satisfying but not indulgent conclusion to your character's journey. Wait, are we married now? Oh, so how did you get into writing? No, writing got into me. Actually, it infiltrated my brain, starting with the slow takeover of my room with books, to the extremely fast claiming of my notes app, and now there's no way to stop it, and no way for me to stop. 
Have you ever come back to a draft after a month or two hiatus and have to reread what you already have so as not to repeat and to pick up where you left off, but in reading you get so caught up that you get whiplash remembering and reminding yourself that you wrote that work of art? Reminder that you are not self-centered or narcissistic for having fun reading what you write. If you think your writing plot and or characters are well executed, they are. It's your story and it's beautiful. Me writing a fic. Nice, I'm almost at the ending. Me 20 hours and 18 paragraphs later. Where is the ending? Me when I finish writing something. Writing only brings suffering. Can't believe I actually want to do another one. Daily reminder that if you have a plot idea, a plot twist that comes in the future, dialogue you want to write, or any scene, whether it be a line or one word, write it down. This is your sign to write and enter your book again, even if it's contributing a single word for your draft. Just do it, okay? Ramble if you even have to. P.S. Let me know what you wrote. Big thank you to my Patreon members, my little ruse, Kuski55, Fallen Vexen, Sam, Donka42, I am a Noodle, John Huang, Fantastic Wreck, and Laser Scorpio. Thank you so much for your extra support on Patreon. It means the world to me. I wish you all the very best. I hope you guys are doing great. As I said, I appreciate you greatly. And the same goes to my YouTube channel members, my mini ruse, AD, Taylor Thompson, Foxstar Killer, and Logan. Thank you for extra support. I'm so glad to have you be a part of my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. And I am so grateful for both my little ruse and my mini ruse. And thank you to everyone else who watched. As the last Tumblr post said, this is your sign to go put at least one word into your draft. So I hope you go do that. And I wish you all the end of writer's block, many flowing ideas, many good times with writing. And I will see you in the next video.